Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 29th, but you know the timing is fluid, and this reading is not sign-specific, means it could be for anybody, and it's not time-specific. I know some people don't get it, but whatever, whatever. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Not every reading is for you. Faith. This is the Hierophant card. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. Doesn't have to be, but you see the Taurus sign up there. But this is about faith, having faith in God, believing, praying. Somebody may be praying for something. You need to have faith that your prayers will be answered. Um, there's a higher power that is listening. This is a very wise individual. Be somebody. Um, this could be a spiritual counselor, could be a guidance counselor, could be any kind of counselor. We could be dealing with a mentor, somebody that is very wise, may have some information that can help you. Um, this is a father figure, perhaps. Could be a priest. Um, but this is also about believing in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Listen to your gut. The Hierophant is about uh, following your intuition, listening to the messages that you get from within and believing in yourself. You need to have faith. Have faith in the divine. Have faith in God or a higher power, whatever you believe in. Now, the Hierophant can symbolize a channeler. We may have a channeler here that has a divine connection to God, but maybe you need to ask. This is also a card of commitment. Interesting. If you commit yourself to a situation and have faith and believe, things can happen. Oof. Two of Wands. Now that is crossing a bridge. Or not. It's like there's a new door right here opening. There's an opportunity to go through a new doorway, but you have to cross that bridge. So we have somebody here that needs to take those steps. You need to make your choice. It's the moment of decision. Have faith in yourself. Follow your gut. Your gut or God or higher power or somebody is guiding you. I don't even know. Maybe it's a counselor. Maybe it's a spiritual teacher. Maybe this is some sort of guru. Can't pronounce that word for any reason whatsoever. Never have been able to. But whoever this person, whoever this entity is or energy is, and it could be coming from within, is telling you. It's telling you. It's saying, believe, trust me. Trust me. Have faith. Believe. Just do it. Just walk forward into that new opportunity. The door is waiting for you. It's waiting for you to cross that bridge. It's waiting for you to go. Stop staying put. Stop staying in your safety zone. I know that you're scared, but... You know that you have to do this. It's a little bit scary. Yes, you could fall. But if you you take small steps and you walk forward in faith, you'll get through there. You'll get to the other side. Trust. Have faith. Let go of your fear. Do it. Just do it. Do what you're being told to do. You know what you need to do. Do it. Just go. The chair. Just go. Master your emotions. Replace that fear with faith. Get in the driver's seat. Take the lead. You're the boss. You're going to need to master your emotions and replace that fear. Find the mental strength to move forward. Somebody's going to be moving forward. They are. They are going to take control. They are going to find their willpower to move in another direction. And I think it's going to happen fast. Somebody is being guided. We have a person here that is being guided to move forward, to go over that bridge, to go over that... Uh, it's scary. You notice there's even this two of wands. It's a path. Go down the scary path. It's scary. You One wrong step, you know, and... Huh. You know, it could be a disaster, but you have to have faith. You've got to have faith. Once you get through that doorway, you know, you're free. You're free, but it's going to take strength and mastering your emotions. And the, one of the meanings of the chariot card is to replace the fear with faith. So we have a lot of faith here. 
Have faith in what your gut is telling you to do. Because your gut is pushing you forward. It's wanting you to move forward. It's wanting you to live a victorious life. It's wanting you to be successful. But if you let fear get in the way, you're not going to be successful. So there is somebody here that is going to get in the driver's seat. And they are going to take the reins. And they are going to go. They're going to let go of that fear. So if this is you, congratulations. Things are only going to get better. Because once you master your emotions and you take the lead and you let go of fear, you head right towards victory. The chariot is a card of transformation. What is transformation? Transformation is death, right? It's, it's the end of a situation. It's not easy. And it's scary. So somebody really has to face their fears. That's a life lesson. Facing your fears is a life lesson. So somebody is going to follow their gut and, and move. They're going to make a bold, I think it's a bold move. They're going to face the opposition. And they're going to steer their, their lives in a different direction. It's like, and you notice this came after this. It's, 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 this person is going to cross that bridge. They are going to take the chance. So I feel like somebody's received the message. And they're going to commit themselves to that better life. So that's what, that's, that's what I see here. Um, King of Wands reversed. Oh, let's get another one. Now, this is a higher power that is guiding somebody. This person is unrealistic, though. So the King of Wands in reverse is an unreasonable, unrealistic... Uh... <sighs> wow, this person is very egotistical, very driven by society, under a lot of social pressure. This person um, has a hard time doing the right thing because of his ego. His or her ego. Um, very unreasonable. Set in their ways. But when this person is in reverse. When this energy is in reverse. This person is losing their. Um, it's out of their control. They may be getting mad because they can't control. They may be in a situation that is. Um making them very upset by the looks of causing them a lot of frustration it's not growing there's no growth it's because this person lacks vision this person who is stuck in their ways who is unreasonable, is being urged by a higher power to go down that path that is so freaking scary. Face your fears. The King of Wands in reverse is very fearful. You think about, I mean, King of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's a Leo in reverse is strength reverse, weak. No courage. Pride. Aries in reverse. Emperor in reversed. Um, egotistical. Controlling. Dominant. Doesn't like to listen. Doesn't take advice. This person gets angry. Very frustrated. Can be very moody. Having mood swings. Very frustrated. So we have an individual here. And it doesn't have to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We all take on these energies. I'm just reading the card. This is extremely with a king. <laughs> we have somebody here that is having some extreme issues with 
change, put it that way. Facing fears. Very fearful. E and ego is based out of fear. So we have a very fearful individual here is being urged to go down that new path. Stop staying where you've been. There's no success there. There's success on the other side, but you're going to have to do something you've never done before. <laughs> trust me. Just trust me. Have faith. Believe. Your success is on the other side of that fear. Your happiness is on the other side of that fear. You know what you got to do. Stop ignoring your gut. Stop ignoring what you're being told. Just do it. What, you can't listen to anybody? You can't listen to your gut? You don't believe in yourself? You're too weak? You don't have any courage? You can't master your emotions? Low self-esteem, low self-confidence. Hermit reversed. We have somebody here that may be going through some sort of midlife crisis. You know, we're in exile right now. So this is this is being antisocial, thinking a lot. Had a lot of time to think. And in this time of isolation, somebody has received a message from above, and that is no joke. This time of isolation has given somebody a message. You know, when you're thinking a lot, in silence, in solitude, in isolation, you're basically meditating. And that's when the messages come. So somebody has received a message from a higher power that it's time to go. Follow your... You know what you need to do. It's time to reconnect. It's time to get out there. It's time to f go follow through with the plan. It's like you've got a plan, but you're not following the plan because you're too fearful of what everybody's going to say if you follow the plan or if you'll be accepted. Now, this is a re-identification, the hermit reversed. It's like somebody has re- it's like they're not the same person that they used to be. They realize that. This time of isolation has made them realize that they're not the same person. They become consciously aware of that through this time of isolation. It's clear. It's time for you to step forward. Take control of your life. Seven of Swords. This guy's sleeping on the job. <laughs> oh, sleeping on the job. Seven of Swords. So this is betrayal. I'm gonna get caught. Obviously, this person's gonna get caught. You can't you can't sleep and, and think you're gonna get away with it. Somebody's having a hard time sleeping, by the way. So tired. So tired of of dealing with what they've been of of trying to to do too much, trying to uh this guy's he can't even do it anymore. It's like worn down, worn out, trying to pretend, trying to sneak, trying to get away with things, trying to uh, well, the seven of swords is thoughts stealing. In this one, I'm just vibes. Okay, so this is, uh, this guy is exhausted. He is exhausted. He is. We have somebody here that is, this guy is exhausted. 
He's exhausted with this bullshit doing this. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. And it's because of his conscience. Okay, he knows what he's doing is wrong. He's been doing something against the law, stealing something, whatever. And it's eating him. And he's got to the point where he's, he just can't, he's exhausted with living this life, doing these things, you know, that are against the law or, you know, that don't really serve him, that he doesn't want to do. It's drained him. It's drained his energy. So we have somebody here that, I mean, he's obviously going to get caught because he he's uh, sick of it. He is sick of it. He's he can't sleep at night. He's he's uh, somebody is going to get caught. They're going to get caught caught up in the wrong things. Going to make a mistake. This person's going to make a mistake. Somebody is, this is a mistake, I'm telling you what. And this is lack of awareness. Somebody, this, this guy may be, think he's so good at doing what he's doing. Pretending. Cheating. He may think he's so good at it. Obviously that's what this is. Because this guy, he does think, it's the truth too. This guy thinks he is so good at, at, at what he is doing that he will never get caught. That he will be able to keep doing what he's doing for the rest of his life. That's what he thinks. That's what he thinks. Getting lazy. And this is lazy as well. We ha and This is corrupt. We may have somebody that is that is stealing or doing something that is against the law. And they may think that they're never going to get caught. They get lazy and they get caught. Somebody rushes in. It could be the police, whatever. I know that's a different message, but I'm just, I'm just telling you what I see here. And this is a higher authority. The Hierophant is the highest authority. Even higher than the Emperor. So, there is something going on here. That's another, that's for somebody else. A, a high authority could be coming in. This guy has gotten lazy. He thinks he's never going to get caught. And they and he gets caught. So I don't know who's, whose message that is for. And, and this guy is totally unaware. And it could happen, you know, when he's, when he's sleeping. He's sleeping and all of a sudden they come a rolling in. So I don't know what that means. You're sleeping. They come in the middle of the night. They come in the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that comes from, but there's a lot of nighttime here. Okay, so something is going. Something could happen at night where, uh, you know, this is like going for a ride. Somebody could end up, you know, showing up and taking somebody for a ride. <laughs> okay, just saying. This guy is corrupt. Does things that are against the law. That damn thing falling again. I got a new one coming. Um, it's taken friggin' forever. Anyhow, um, so somebody is is thinking that they're getting away with what they're doing. They're thinking they're getting away with corrupt behavior. They're thinking that, you know, whatever they're doing is hidden quite well. It's not. It's not. Just so you know. Higher power sees all. So there is a higher power. This higher power sees all. I know that I've changed the story, but somebody needs to hear that message. This is somebody who uh, is very corrupt and they think that they're hiding something and they're not. Okay, so there's, they're going to get caught. But anyhow, let's go back to... Um, oh, I lost the other story. Completely gone now. When it changes, it changes. It's just the way it is. All is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. Beware. Beware. Something is about to be revealed. And it's about to be revealed about uh, in regards to this individual. This individual is mean-spirited. They're impulsive. They're very egotistical. 
driven by society. They are pretending to be somebody that they are not. They think that they are going to get away with whatever they're doing and they're getting lazy. This person is getting lazy. They think that they are so smart. They think that they are sm so smart. This person um, is living in some sort of illusionary land. This, they could, this could be an addiction. This could be drugs, whatever. I don't know what it is, but this is an illusion, okay? So, or an addiction. You need to be careful. You need to beware, okay? All is not as it seems. Now, this person may need to beware. There's a higher power, God, that is watching. Now, they, we could be dealing with a Pisces. It could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could, this could be a Cancer as well. We have Virgo here. We have Cancer up there. You could call this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, now we have Aries. So anyway, and this is Taurus. So it doesn't really matter who we're dealing with, but there is a higher power involved here that is, is um, this guy, this, per, this higher power sees all. They're guiding somebody basically to go down a new path. Go down this new path. Go down this new path before you get yourself into some trouble. There is going to be some trouble. There is going to be some trouble. There is with the Seven of Swords. There's been some sort of betrayal. And it may have been hidden for a while, but this person who's do, been doing the cheating or the lying or the betraying or the stealing or whatever it is that they've been doing, they're about to get caught, I think. I think they're about to get caught. I do. The Knight of Coins reverse. Now, this one's moving pretty fast. Usually, the Knight of Coins says that this guy is very practical, very responsible. A hard worker, somebody that is very skilled, that has a lot of common sense. <sighs> He's a protector of some sort. There is some sort of, it could be a police officer. This is somebody who is very responsible. He's been waiting for the moment because this guy is a planner. He's been waiting for the moment to come in. <laughs> Unaware that there is, I feel like they're unaware that there's somebody watching. Somebody is unaware that there is somebody watching. And somebody, I feel like it's somebody with a badge. Could be God, I don't know. There's been some sort of delay. Somebody's been trying to build, do, they're doing whatever they need, they're trying to do to build up their financial security, but they're doing it in the wrong way. They're doing it in the wrong way. So they're it, illegally. I think they're doing it illegally. Um, sun reverse. That's unhappiness. I'm mean, not going to be happy with the current circumstances when the shit goes down. Put it that way. This is poor logic. The sun reversed is poor logic. We have a person here that hasn't been very logical. There's unhealthiness. This person is unhealthy and their health may even be declining. And they're putting off false impressions. This is false impressions and this is false impressions. So we have somebody here that is, is, is pretending to be some all stable and solid and loyal and all that. And they're not. They're not. God or a higher power sees all. They have been trying to tell you and this person who's doing it what is going on. They've been trying to tell this person to go down a new path. Go down a new path. Go down a new path. You better go down a new path. But this person is refusing to listen. Because of their ego. And this person that is refusing to listen. <laughs> I think this person that is about to. That is refusing to listen is about to get a reality check. 
Wheel of Fortune reverses bad luck. A setback. Past mistakes coming back to haunt them. This is a unpredictable loss. Because somebody keeps repeating their same ne negative patterns. Refusing to accept change. Refusing to change their future. Refusing to go in that new direction. We do have somebody here that is coming in. I think they're coming in to uh, take down this person who has gotten lazy and thinks they're never going to get caught. I also feel like there is somebody that is leaving a situation because of this. They're leaving. Somebody is leaving a situation that is sad. Okay? It's an illusion. It's a fantasy. It's unreal. It's unhealthy. Somebody is leaving an unhealthy situation. They are. The truth is about to come out and somebody is about to have a huge loss because of their dishonor per se. What has been hidden in the dark is about to become come to light. This person was urged to go down that new path. They were told to, but they chose not to. So be prepared for um, something to be revealed about a person because of this moon card. There was be careful. Something is about to be revealed. It's a very negative situation. It's not good. This person is very unhealthy. It feels like they're going to be taken away or something or somebody leaving them or something like that. The higher power is going to push them down that new path. The hard way. Good luck.